Okay, here we go. All right. What I like to show you guys how to do is how to write an equation in standard form and sketch graph. Now, this is a little bit of review with you guys, so I'm going to go a little bit quicker going through this. Um, a couple things you got to remember about our standard form is that we have f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. All right? So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and figure out, well, how are we going to go and get this square, this x squared there? And we get that by completing the square. And remember, the big important thing by completing the square is we have to remember our b over 2a squared. And that's going to make, that's going to ensure thus that we'll have a perfect square um, when doing this problem. So the first thing I want to do is whenever I'm dealing with the quadratic um, problem, is always figure out what my a, b, and c are. In this problem, a equals 1, b equals 8, and c equals 10. All right? Now, so now what I need to do is I need to split this up. I need to... I'm going to get this this portion into my perfect uh, um, into my perfect square. So I'm going to write f of x equals x squared plus 8x, and I'm going to put the plus 10 over here. Because what I want to do is I want to find out well what number actually let's give what number is do I need to add to this to make this a perfect square? And what I do is I use my formula. So I take b, which is 8 over 2 times 1 squared, and that's going to give me 8 over 2 is 4, 4 squared is 16. So what I do is I add 16 here, but then also, remember on an equation when you learn algebra, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. Well, I could add 16 to both sides, but if I add a 16 onto this left side, I could also just subtract the 16 over there as well. So I'm just going to add and subtract on the same side. Okay. Now, this can now be in the form of x plus um, x minus k h or x plus uh, x plus h because I can do, I know that, that x times um, x plus 4 times x plus 4 is going to give me the solution. So I'll have f of x equals x plus 4 squared and then minus, uh, minus 6. So, now looking at here, we can now go ahead and um, determine that my uh, <clears throat> y-intercept is going to be at a negative, um, negative 6. And now what I just need to go ahead and determine is, look at this problem, let's go and sketch the graph. So one thing, my a is telling me that that is going to be greater than 1. So therefore, this, this graph is going to be opening upwards. Uh, my vertex is going to be at a, let's see, well, this is at a negative 6. That's me that my y intercept is a negative 6. And now my vertex is simply shifting from, it's going to be shift over negative 4 and go down negative 6. So originally my vertex was here, negative 4, so now I'm going to go down 6 and then to the left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm sorry, that's not my partner, so that's just where my vertex is going to equal. So therefore, my new vertex is that vertex is at um, negative 4, comma, negative 6, 